And here we are. We're live. Oh, no. Is this right? Do we not have any viewers? That sounds about right. That's pretty par for the course. Okay, now I see it. Jeff and... I just, I opened up the the stream manager dashboard. It's like, zero viewers, you lazy fuck. And I'm like, God damn it. Hello, us. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the goddamn show. Um, we're here to continue playing in Thunder Rift. Uh, we did a session in Old School Essentials, and it didn't quite scratch that itch I was hoping for. Uh, so we're going to pivot, and we're going to keep playing it, but we're going to try it in Forbidden Lands and play it there for as long as we can. Then we'll either pivot to a different system or go back and play some Pathfinder. One of those three, four, five. I don't know how many options there are. Uh, God, yeah, so we got a new lineup of characters. Um, Time-wise, we'll get this out here. We're going to start up almost immediately after, you know, a day or two after the previous session ended, just with a different group of adventurers, with Forbaudi being the one tying Link. Uh, maybe the others hired Forbaudi for that, finishing up that one job and then sent them off. Um, yeah, I don't know. Who the fuck knows? I don't know anything. Uh, but let's do character introductions. Uh, we'll start out with Bert, who's first in the overlay. So, Bert, who are you playing? Very cool. Very good. Very good. Uh, Dan, are you in any place to give an introduction? usually how it goes yeah uh next up in the center again uh no player audio uh-oh let's take a look and see what's going on desktop audio default we want real tech speakers uh you should be getting a feed now one of you say something 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 okay yeah. that's it yeah, I don't know. It screwed up my Yeti mic as well. Okay, so let's start over. Bert, you get to introduce your character again. <laughs> I'm playing Mufune the Rogue, or at least he would like you to think he is. Okay, there we go. Uh, and Dan? Conifer the Druid, uh, Hermit Druid. He should stay home. He's should've, making mistakes already. Should have stayed home. Uh, next up, we got Jake. I will be playing Ian Fenlar, uh, an elvish peddler of fine uh, loot that he's stolen. I'm, I mean, uh, fine wares. Very cool. Uh, next up, we got Jeff. Uh, I'm playing McGavin, the halfling hunter who hunts halflings. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Not the direction. That I went was really expecting. literal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. And last but not least, we got Jeremy up there. Yeah, I'll be playing for Bowdy. I'm a dwarf fighter. I do exactly what you think I do, and I do it for money. Very cool. Uh, speaking of money, like everyone can see, the five of you find yourselves together. Whether or not this is a new conjunction of people joining together as a party, or if you're old friends, or who the fuck knows, we'll figure that out at the end of the session. Uh, you find yourselves all in front of the bounty board uh, in the city of Melanir in the Thunder Rift region. Um, and I'll just let you all take it there. You can see what's listed. Uh, two of these posts look familiar. Third one's new. Well, I guess the middle one is new. Uh, well, yeah, first one, Bandit Bounty, open bounty for bandits in the Melanair Hills. Uh, the mayor's office is paying uh, 20 silver per scalp. Uh, we'll skip to the third one because uh, we've talked about this one before in the in last week. Uh, adventure is needed. 
the mayor has relieved or granted funding to unravel the mysteries of Castle Crawl deep within the Black Swamp. Uh, gold will be paid upon completion. For more information, visit me at the Sarcastic Goat. Signed, Pikmin. And the third one, the center one there. Uh, missing Merchant, an associate of mine. Let me zoom in because I chose a terrible font. An associate of mine, one Iggy Olivero, has been missing for near a month, and I need a brave band to venture out to his last known location, the nearby village of Orlane, to find out what happened to him and hopefully return him to me safely. I have started gathering information on what might be going on in Orlane, and none of it is good, yet some of it is conflicting. It may do you good to ask around and see if you can find any information on the village before heading out. For Mr. Olivero's safe return, I'm willing to pay 40 silver per member of your adventuring party. If Mr. Olivero is deceased, I will pay 20 silver per member and an additional five if his remains are respectfully laid to rest. Signed, Cairn, the Melanaire Money Changer. And I'll let you all kind of take it from there as you discuss what the fuck you want to do. Uh, look, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I'm saying there's not too many people that are going to know one scalp for another. So we could take one of the other jobs, gather scalps along the way, and then turn in two quests at the same time. Remind me to give you a medal for Bounty. That's genius. Sounds like a good idea. And if you want to see kind of the locations of things on the Thunder Rift map tab, which takes <coughs> eight goddamn years to load. I'm going to pull it up for the stream so they can see it. Uh, the missing merchant, this village of Orlane, you've all probably heard of it before. It's uh, southwest of your current location, kind of around the eastern or the western edge of the Black Swamp. Whereas Castle Crawl, uh, the remains of it are uh, pretty much southeast directly, straight across the lake and into the heart of the swamp. So we can see. I can't do, I can do drawings. So Orlane is hanging out there on the blue circle. And the runes of crawl are also there on another blue circle, so you all can kind of get a feel of where you're at, and you're up in the village of Melanir. And we so, will um, be using the full Forbidden Lands rule, so traveling and everything. Travel. Yeah, nice. So uh, with Farbodi uh, mentioning that, uh, you'll look down, you'll see McGavin, this big bushy blonde hair, big bushy blonde mutton chops big bushy mustache, big old cigar in his mouth, and he's sharpening, you know, up a, up an arrowhead. And he said, okay, okay. As long as some of them scouts are halflings, I mean, let's do it. I mean, if that I'm makes ready. you happy. Yeah, it makes me happy. Yeah, it does. I mean, that's, that's what you like. I already feel happier myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than taking a halfling scout, I'll tell you that. Yeah, especially when they, you know, when they talk back to me while I'm doing it. Uh, I don't like that one bit at all. Very, very distracting. Anyway. And he's, and he's like cleaning his fingernails now at this point, like with the, with the arrowhead. Not disturbing at all. <laughs> Hi, I'm a Gavin. <laughs> I really thought about seeing if I wanted to shrink <laughs> the font small enough to get your full name, uh, but Sharpshooter McGavin was just a little too much. Yeah. Oh, I eat pieces of shit like that for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Although I suppose we have to maybe double check whether or not there's a precedent of like children bandits, because we might get caught up in our lie if we deliver halfling scalps claiming they're human bandits, because then it might you yeah, be taken in a poor way. What are you trying to say? You're trying to say halflings can't be bandits? Oh, no, I'm saying that... Uh, yeah, if humans are, are stupid. stupid. If they're children, ah. we'll just say that they're halflings, is what I'm hearing. Okay. 
I liked what, what that one said. I'd imagine uh, most of, uh, the, of your kind can be uh, fantastic uh, outlaws. What Probably do you the mean, my card? What are you trying to say? Well, I'm just trying yeah, to say up. that obviously you're Pulls one of the up good his ones. loincloth. <laughs> well, what are you trying to say, buddy? What do you mean, more people? What do you he mean, like, you a people? Gnome or something? <laughs> if I misread the situation. Gnome? What the hell's a gnome? I don't even know what that is. Eh, I don't know. We're wasting time. We've got scalps to be getting. You know, that if sounds it pays like a money, fantastic it sounds idea. Good. It and does sound now. good. And you know what else bandits have? Stuff. True. So we could, like, uh, have some salvaging rights and whatnot. Exactly. Exactly. Part of the uh, payment or uh, just... Or we just take it. Of course, that begs the question, do we actually just go hunting them so we can take their stuff? I mean, I'm all for the line, but I also like the idea of taking the outlaw stuff. Mm -hmm. I also like that idea. I like it quite I mean, a lot. There's, it's, scalp is part of their stuff, right? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's kind of, you know. Yeah, it's just a bit more firmly attached, but you can get them off. No problem, little. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, scalps stuff. Yes, this is a, this sounds like a great idea. Got three birds, one stone, and twenty silver per scalp. Love it, absolutely. All right. So, are you just going to head off into the Millionaire Hills looking for bandits? Or are you going to take one of the other jobs and hope you encounter bound, uh, bandits along the way? I mean, I imagine there's probably bandits at least at one of these. So I would wager, I guess, they'd be more likely to be over by this Orlane place. Seems like a proper city versus some horrible-ass place in the swamp. Seems fair. That's a, it's true. So Very looking natural. at the map, the Melanair Hill area is north of the lake, but Orlane is like southwest of the lake. Yeah. So they might be two different areas. I'm not, like it might be harder to stack those two. Hmm. Those two quests. Hmm. And there was a, what was the third quest? Or a job? Uh, so there was the bandit scalps, the or lane, mm -hmm. and then investigating the swamp. The swamp. Yeah, that's also, that's like southeast of... Even further away. Where we're at. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. The swamp is the last place I want to go. So maybe it's the first place we should go. Get it out of the way first. Maybe. Yeah, I don't mind that idea. I Plus, we could have our very own. There. We could have our very own swamp castle away from everyone. I mean, if yeah, I was a I vagabond mean... and a thief, and I am, I'd go to the swamps because no one goes to the swamps for good reason. I heard and... there's a whole colony of halflings all about that swamp. <laughs> we go there, we take their scalps, we bring them back, we take out the swamps, we kill that other guy, and that's 20 silver too. Then we hand in the scalps of the halflings for the other job, and that's like 50 gold or something. Oh, I like the sound of 50 gold. Yeah, 50 gold sounds good. I don't know the I exchange rate, but... <laughs> yes, I, I'm not sure about the math on that, but uh, it, it certainly adds up to our favor. So, what's the plan? Guess we're just gonna go swimming right across the lake directly to the ruins. Or we're just gonna take the shortest path. Okay. Now, <laughs> on the job board, it does say for more information, visit me at the whatever goat. Like sarcastic goat. Yeah. I just like the name of the place, to be honest. It sounds like a trap to me. Yeah. 
that we'll gladly walk into. Right? So, well, I mean, really? it's either a trap or an opportunity. Or both. I mean, you know. They're... Both. Yeah. If, if somebody's laid a trap, then that somebody would be there. And it's an opportunity to get their scalp. Yes, that would make them a bandit. <laughs> okay, I just can't it. argue with that kind of logic. Yeah, so where are you going? Sounds like we're going to the goddamn swamps. Okay. Are you starting about to go yeah. first or, you know, to get that information? Mm hmm. Or are we just skipping right past the information? Um, Guns blazing. It might it might be worth uh, investigating what is to be expected <clears throat> from our uh, secret plundering expedition. That way, if we find anything else, uh, that's ours. Okay. So if you all head over to the Sarcastic Goat Inn, it's the, the finest inn in all of Thunder Rift. Uh, it's this large three-story log building, over 50 rooms, and it's fucking huge. Uh, each room, I don't know if any of you would have had the coin to stay here, but it's said that each room holds a feather bed, quilts woven by one of the finest, you know, quilt makers. I don't fucking know. Uh, common rooms, well-kept, pleasant ambiance, very popular. Uh, the innkeeper, guy by the name of uh, Badiah, uh, it's dwarf, known for having very unkempt hair and beard. Uh, but as you make your way over to the sarcastic goats, uh, you look around and being very decently familiar with Melanary, you see Pikmin, the wizard of the town, like the official, unofficial, magical consultant for Melanair, uh, setting up at the bar working on some uh, a light lunch, reading over a book. Um, what all you want to do? <clears throat> Let's walk up to him and say, you know, you posed in that job? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Greetings. I don't know if I've met you all before. I'm Pikmin. Uh, and I, yes, I posted it and you're here to learn about it. This is fantastic news. All right, now someone else take over. Ah, uh, so. Uh, is he a halfling? No, human. Okay. <laughs> Slowly put the arrow back in the quiver. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking you all at least have a vague idea of what, uh, what they now refer to as the rooms of crawl was formerly Castle Crawl. Um, was, uh, you know. Centuries past, a bastion of good that helped hold off the orc raiders from the Horned Hills uh, until one day, very mysteriously, it um, sank into the swamp, uh, destroyed. Uh, and now um, I, I need to know why. Yes, yeah, I, I would like to know why. Uh, it, so, go ahead. Uh, they built it in a swamp. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, reading through the old records, um, it was actually a very brilliant uh, builder who came up with the idea. Because initially they did. There was two or three of these attempts before the original castle was built. Once again, this is centuries ago. Uh, until he had the idea of bringing in stone and sand from the mountains to build a platform and barricade back the the waters of the swamp and build it deep enough that it would give them a solid foundation and it held for hundreds of years until one day it didn't uh sounds like regular old swamp business yeah i was i was about to say well if they built it in a swamp well then there's your mystery right there but what? um it seems they found a way to fight swamps is what i'm hearing Yes, they did find a way to fight swamps, but they, it's it's very strange that, you know, it was so, you know, solid for so long. And then not only was it, um, did it just mis 
mysteriously sink also all of the legion that was stationed at the castle were never heard from never no survivors were ever found no one ever returned i mean it was complete uh cut off of any form of communique from them uh must be a very the entire swan. legion yes weapons armor uh personal goods and all I would imagine gone? they should still, yeah, all gone. I mean, the the it few sounds terrible. There have been a few expeditions in the past to try and figure out what was going on, but uh, no one ever returned. Hmm. Sounds like a very sticky swamp. Could be. So, it's... what is what's spurring the the latest attempt to find these things out? Oh, uh, it's been so long. Really, my personal curiosity. I'm working on uh, a history of the region, uh, and currently this is the biggest, uh, you know, absence of knowledge that I have. You know, what happened, what caused Castle Crawl to, to sink <clears throat> and all of the Legion to vanish. Magicians, am I right? I'd say I it think... sounds like sorcery mm -hmm. and a swamp, and I need that as much as I need an asshole on my elbow. Are you sure we want this job? I mean, I'm, I'm willing to pay. I, I'm sure I want gold. An asshole on your... your you say, hmm. That and McGavin's like handy, looking actually. at your elbow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't have it. Don't need it. Mm. And then he goes back mm. to cleaning his toenails with his arrow. Uh, how much gold? I mean, uh, I've, I've been authorized to offer um, 10 gold each. <clears throat> which I must say is an obscene amount of money. Mm, I thought someone said we'd be getting 50 gold, though. <laughs> uh, if you want to give me a test, you can see if you can talk that up. I mean, that, it's the same amount. I'm just making a bad joke. Oh, okay. 50 gold <laughs> altogether, not 50 gold each. I was like, that's that's yeah. a big ask, Dan, but sure. All right, so we uh, each get can, 10 um, gold to just go see and uh, see. Just to go see. Yeah, just find out what happens. 10 gold each. Just just, just look at it and then and then walk away. I mean... Well, not just look at it. You need to see if you can find out why it sank and what happened to everyone. But oh, I mean, if it's in the swamp, then the swamp swamped it. Uh, can McGavin do an insight check when everyone's pushing him about why he really wants this to happen now to see if he, if he's yeah, get the it, sense that he's holding yeah. something back? Yeah. As he stares and crawls up on all fours on top of the table to get a nice yeah. good look at him. And just stares at him with his big old beautiful eyes. Uh, yeah, success. Uh, yeah, you could push would if it you do, want. Would it do better? Would it would it help to to push? Uh, like it, have more than one success. In this instance, no. I'm gonna one success will be enough. Yeah, it seems yeah. to be. He seems to be sincere about this, and it seems to be just curiosity, knowledge. You've probably, if you haven't personally met Pikmin around town you've probably at least heard of him and he's he is a wizard he is a caster but uh he considers him more of a himself more of like a historian and scholar so this kind of fits right up his his wheelhouse so McGavin will just like sniff yeah I think we can trust him he'll give us the money won't you yeah, Won't we, you pick me if that's your real name? I, I assure you it is my real name, but uh, yeah, 10 gold. It's his real name. Each. And it's not his real name because that's what mages use to bind people. I mean, Gavin makes a mental note. Okay, <laughs> Pikmin. Pikmin. <laughs> that's your, I see your game. Okay. Uh, oh, well, but Gavin says he trusts you, then. That's fair. I mean, 
He, I mean, he can sense truth. So, you know, if you were lying, we'd know. He'd definitely know, right? You'd, you'd know. You'd know. I smell it like you shit on waffles. <laughs> Why would you put shit on waffles? That sounds like a terrible bra- breakfast combination. Just like lying to McGavin. Mm. Mm. Oh. You remember that, Pikmin? That's, that lesson's free. Uh, the next one's going to cost you. Very well. Um, I, I guess the only other piece of information I would like to share is getting there. I mean, you've got essentially three, three decent options. Well, I wouldn't say decent. Three options that I would consider. Uh, the first one is to take the bridge south of town, uh, past the guard posts, directly into the marshwood, and trek across the marshes. That would be a the most direct route, um, but I cannot promise any safety wading through the swamps. They're known to be, between the marshwood and the black swamps, quite dangerous. Uh, you could hire a boat to take you down closer to the ruins and uh, then make a shorter trek through the swamp. Or you could take the old merchant's road, the old caravan road east, um, past a smaller portion of the swamp and then around to the south but you'll be coming up very close to the horned hills and i would be concerned about the uh possibility of uh orc encounters it's largely a choice of what flavor of shit we want to eat yeah that's a good way to put it yes okay uh, if you're Why are to... you concerned about going to the east? You got some special love for them orcs? You don't want us killing them too? No, I mean you're more than welcome. They're they've plagued our our town for centuries. That's initially what why Castle... are you defending oh. them, huh, Pikmin? Why I'm, are you I'm defending not, them? I swear to you, I'm not defending them. I was just looking out for your own safety. I swear, it was what you know. Say. I don't get any information back if you're killed by orcs on the journey there. He does have a point. Guy <laughs> Pikmin, I see your game. Points. All right. Well, well. Said, return with the information, um, and the ten gold each is yours. Why don't you hire us a boat? Um, I don't. I wasn't. I did petition the mayor's office for this funding to do it, and I don't have the funding to charter a boat. I mean, that's something, an expense you would have to take on yourself. Mm. I hate boats. I hate orcs. I hate this woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For Bounty, you hate most things, though. I like money. Well, it you it's like paying money. money. Yeah. So, I will say that hiring a boat makes me lose what I love. Hmm? Breakfast? We just, uh... hmm. It makes me lose two things that I love. <laughs> Question for you. Which of those things that you hate can you kill? I can kill orcs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, what if we said that orcs were a part of the bandit parties? Ooh. He probably wouldn't. We could maybe pass off some orc scalps as bandits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not only can you kill something you hate, don't they? Yeah, they do. All right, they got lots of halflings. Yeah. They might even be made of halflings. It's true. It's I've heard that most orcs are actually just three halflings in a coat. That's that's. I don't think that's true. No, no, Pikmin. You know, I I've, I've, I've heard, heard it myself what he's talking too. About. Just now, in fact. Yeah, I've also heard it before. Okay. Right. I just quiet, didn't... magic man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I don't understand, Pikmin. You've got the money to give us when we come back with the information, but you don't got the money to hire us about. Plus, you love these orcs so much. I don't. I don't. You don't want us killing them, I which see. means you probably. Love halflings because as we just learned, orcs are just three halflings in a cow. He's a halfling lover. That's what he is. I, 
or he's trying to persuade us that he doesn't want us to go that way He'll so lean. that we will go that way and kill as many halflings as possible. He'll lean over to Mufune. Does he, does, is he aware that he himself is a halfling? I don't think so. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> McGavin is doing calculus in the air. Having You've got the, 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 <laughs> math, the math Scott meme. Scott Steiner math. <laughs> the math meme is happening right now. Nice. All right. So I is that settled we then? We go east and we kill go these east. halfling conglomerations. Posing yes. as orcs. Posing as orcs. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Captain Fart is on Jeff's channel. Oh yeah, that's right. I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait, he took it down. Oh no, that's right. I did. That's on that's, that's on Lolly Jeff farted. That's right. Uh, you. I mean, I I won't. I mean, okay. You all are, especially you, um, quite frightening, which gives me hope in your ability to complete the job. Um, I will say that if you're looking to possibly charter a boat um um i think you could get one for about 20 silver to take you across i think we already agreed for we're, we're, we're going east okay yeah i think we'll we'll head east yeah i won't i don't know captain the world may never know Farting is not politically correct anymore. You just can't do it. Yeah. I heard it's God, not it's... rated. <laughs> it's not cheering. Children don't fart, so we can't say it. <laughs> Farting's been canceled. Yes. Uh, reference. Oh, all right. So if you're all going to go that direction, you'll head east along the caravan route, the old merchant's road, uh, going past Edgewater. Uh, and eventually that'll cut south through a portion of the swamps before continuing along the border between the Horned Hills and the swamp until you can turn off and make it to the Ruins of Crawl. Okay, so... Let's go ahead. Are you sick of us yet? <laughs> no, no, this is fine. Everything's fine. If you go like to her. the actors in the character sheets, there's one listed as party sheet. Ooh, party uh, sheet. And this is what we'll use for the different aspects of traveling. So way up in the top corner, I did have to correct the scale of the grid here for this uh all forbidden lands you can travel two hexes per quarter day um each hex is about two miles so you're looking at four miles per quarter day uh you can safely travel two quarter days every day if you want to travel that third or fourth you got to start making endurance rolls do enforced marches see if it affects you uh but on that party sheet uh, we can see that if you click on travel it's got all the different areas you can do uh, mm. it looks like conifer is taking lead the way which is kind of navigation uh, it's always good to have someone who can keep watch so if someone's good on scouting you can just drag your token from other onto that um, and then there's other things you can do forage hunt fish um, when you're ready to rest for the night, someone can make camp. Um, hmm. Yeah. I have a spyglass, so I'll try to keep watch. Okay. The, the two biggest things are going to be scouting and, or lead the way and keep watch. Everyone else is kind of along for the ride until we can get a point where we can rest. Uh, so we're just going to do this forbidden land style so let's get that lead the way test i'm ready right get plus one that's nice they're uh 
modifiers are little check boxes on the sheet now when you roll. Yeah. Good lord, Captain. Oh, cool. oh Dang, hell I message already... for uh, sex-based terms. Oh. So fart Wait. is a sex thing. Hmm. Whoa. I, I guess. <laughs> That's I really why it's today. canceled. Yeah. That's a lot of dice. All right, so... Uh, Conifer, you take a damage to wits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You do pull two on your lead the way, so you lead the way successfully. Uh, let's see, Finlar, if you want to give me your scouting test. Oh, yeah, little check boxes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're oh, always. Wait a minute, I have a talent of some if... sort. You get one when you build your character, one or more, depending yeah. on how you built it. Your scout it should... roll is modified by plus one when an enemy tries to ambush you. Okay, so that's not applicable here. Nice. Ula. Nice. Oh, my gosh. All right. Now I do my roll. Oh my gosh, it's not letting me roll dice. Ah, uh, we win. The list is growing yeah, aggressively I think we win. long. I think yeah. means. There they are. Okay. No encounter in this first square. Okay. Next we. hex. Let's do those rolls again. All righty. Oh. It's probably my best roll wow. of the night right there. Yeah. All righty. Now my turn. That's a lot of dice. All right. Another success. Ooh. I do my rolls again. Okay. We are going to get a random encounter this time. Yay. As you're all traveling along the road, Why did it allow that fart, Captain? I I, I already approved it. Oh, you did. Okay. I, I'm basically just sitting here waiting to just say allow, 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 okay. allow, allow, allow. <laughs> All right. Ooh, yeah, this is a fun one because you've already done it. It's fine. We're going to die right outside the city. Oh, that's convenient. There's... A smart ass fox. I'm shooting him. Like, <laughs> oh, like <laughs> I'm shooting that son of a bitch right away. I don't. Any know. singing foxes? Yes, just yep. Yeah. As you're all traveling along, let me get some tokens set up, and let me get this set up. The whole time we're we're like following uh, Fenlar and Kona for I'm just leaning to like to Farbodi and and what's your name again, Bert? Mufune. Mufune, excuse me. And I'm just gonna say, so you think like giants are like ten halflings in a trench coat and like wait a dwarves two halflings in a trench? Okay. It depends on how big they are. I mean. You know, they don't start out that big. Eventually, like, more halflings stand on top of each other to make it bigger. In this slightly hilly region, jump us over to another map, uh, you come across a wagon that uh, the wheels are broken on it. Uh, there's horses on the picture because that's what I had, but there's no horses attached to it. Uh, just blocking the road. And you all can move yourselves into whatever marching order you might take. Oh, well, how could they possibly do that? Uh, well, this is a bandit trap, obviously. We stop to deal with this obstruction in the road, and then we're set upon by bandits. Oh, no, we are so unaware of what is going on. What could this thing in the road be? I hope oh. nobody comes to take our purse. 
right? Our purse Our body, is it's, a, of it's money. a trap. Did you not just hear what Fenlaw said? It's a trap. Yes. Oh, this coin purse is so heavy. It is hurting my back. Something terrible. Sure enough. Uh, there's a there's an acupuncture what acupuncture acupun acupuncturist back in town. I can recommend them to you. Sure enough. A bandit steps out. Well, I guess our supplies was uh you know, our surprise was ruined. It works sometimes, but uh you know the drill. Give us your shit and you can walk away. I mean, it was you know, we appreciate the effort that you actually, you know, turned the, the car there and everything. It's not, you know, don't feel bad. It might be like an hour or two before I'm ready to do that kind of business, though. I just ate lunch and, you know, it's going to take some time. I, I don't literally want your poop. I want your valuables. <laughs> what, Would you uh, like it on a waffle? Jersey. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> on a waffle? <laughs> what uh, ancestry? Would you like it in a box? Would it's you human. like it with fox? Is human? Uh, as you're all deliberating from the other side, two more bandits step out. Yeah, I, give us your goods. I don't know if I've got enough shit to give all of you. And then eventually a fourth bandit hops up on top of the cart. Oh, oh no. McGavin oh, no. fires. He just fires right off the PCs. <laughs> I'm just going, damn you, son of a bitch. Make your shot, then we'll roll an ish. <laughs> <laughs> a halfling appears and you dead. <laughs> I really wish I was better at quipping. I was trying to think of something good there, but uh, yeah, McGavin's got the right of it. <laughs> it just oh going. goodness! Eat okay. his tiny shaft. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Two. Do you want to push that? <laughs> nah, I'm good. All right. Does have some armor on. Let's make sure these. Well, actually, he is a halfling. Yeah, I'll push it. He's a halfling. Yeah, he is a halfling. I've labeled it and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> What? what the hell is happening? <laughs> what? Oh my god, did you break yourself? <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Dear lord. No. Nope. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Come on. He really hates halflings. I got another one. I do. Very bad. He takes okay. all three points of damage. Come on. Uh, Huzzah! As you take your shot and plant an arrow directly in this halfling's forehead, like right between the eyes, busts out the back of his skull, collapses on top of the cart and falls off in a dead pile. Uh, let's go ahead and try to do initiative here. Be back in a second. Yeah. My dog is barking. McGavin looks over to Farbody and just what? says, it can be only one. I mean, I don't say this lightly, but you're my hero. That was that was great. Just beautiful. <laughs> Look at him there, I... just spurting all over his own wagon. <laughs> Look at your friend. I... Look at oh, him. <laughs> I tell you, I can't wait to eat him and absorb his power. It's gonna be oh good. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh... So Let's good. go ahead and finish the rest of them first. All right, I'm gonna roll for Mafuni. Anyone got any uh, initiative fuckery? <laughs> I just can't believe this. It's, so good. <laughs> it's like the one, only more terrifying. Conifer. Oh, you got a ten. This might be my favorite character yet. <laughs> so good. Um, are we doing cards for initiative? How are yeah, we I'm dealing them out now. Oh, okay. It's just I've just got to run. Uh, I have lightning reflexes, so that's you get what I'm into. Two cards. Yeah. All right. Let me give me a second. I'll give you your second. This oh no! You you have the initiative, muckery down. All right. So your second card is oh a one. I'm gonna guess you want to keep that one over the six. Yeah. All right, and let's unlock the six. Uh, who is next? Our halfling. Where? Where was it? Where is it? <laughs> All right, for Bowdy. 
you pull an eight. And our last two painted. All right. That is initiative. So, with initiative, you're all allowed to, before it starts. What did you get blocked, Captain? Dear Lord. Uh, you're allowed to swap your own cards. So, if anyone wants to swap cards before we get into this, uh, we got Mafoni with a one. Finlar with a 3, Ferbaudi with an 8, McGavin with a 9, and Conifer with a 10. Perfectly happy with my current initiative. <laughs> okay, if that's the case, I'm going to hit begin. Since uh, Ferbaudi's right up there, I wouldn't mind switching with him to watch him cleave some dudes. Sure. I will give... All right, tag! <laughs> yes. Uh, you're getting an 8, and Ferbaudi is getting a 3. I'll cool. get my pound of flesh, and you'll get your pound of stuff to sell later. All right. Darn right. Mufune, okay. you're up um, first. I don't know this, this system so well, but here's what I want to do, Chuck, and I don't know if it's even possible. Mufune okay. is an incredible beast of a man who claims to be a sneak thief. Yes. Um, he would like to do as sneak thieves do and run up to the back of that cart and overturn it with his strength of five and might of two. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you can easily <laughs> close the distance with your movement. Uh, then you just got to give me a might test. All right, so I'm trying to flip it over onto the most number of okay. over folks, on... so the ones down on these, yeah, this side. that sounds fantastic. All right, so I just do a might roll. Is that yep. it? Give me might. Okay. You pull oh four. My God. So I am going to give the cart. It's a giant cart. It's going to crush him. I'm going to yeah. give it a base damage of three. Mm -hmm. So right now you're going to be dealing six damage altogether. Okay. Uh, if you do want to that... push. No, no, that's that's good. Okay. <laughs> so six damage. I'm going to give them their armor rolls. Mafuni yells as he goes over. I'm a thief. <laughs> All right, so that's going to negate one. So this one is going to take five damage, instantly breaking him. Oh, we need to do a. Yes, we do. We need to do critical injuries for that first one. Uh, did anyone take what is it? The cold blooded talent. Oh, um, yeah. no. No. Oh. Good. Everyone go ahead and take that for free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's and a good one. Second one takes all six. They are both completely broken out of the gate. Uh, let's do some critical injuries. I'm going to call this critical injury... I need to do the drop anywhere. That way I can. All right. Uh, so the first one. Uh, somehow he gets knocked unconscious. A chunk of wagon wheel lands on his mouth and breaks out all of his teeth. The second one just shatters his leg, broken leg. Uh, and then uh, McGavin, I need to roll for, and let me configure this. So if you all want to roll for critical injuries, you have permission to see those tables. But your stab wound, uh, okay, it gives us, so you didn't hit him square in the eyes, you hit him hard in the gut, ruptured his intestines. Good. I want, to, want him to see my eyes when I finish him off. <laughs> when I buy into that sweet, sweet gels. Mm. Uh, for Bowdy, you're up. Well, I assume it's a free action to talk, so I'll just kind of slowly walk up to this man with my axe out and say, you can see how it's going. I've got my blade up in the air. Now, you can offer to show us where your stash is. You got about three seconds to say yes or no, or I'm going to chop you. Uh, you're going to give One. me a... Ooh. Why don't you, in this case, you're brandishing your axe. Give me a might test. 
Nice. Not terrible at that. Uh, and this guy is going to resist with survival. All right, so you pulled a one. Do you want to push that? You didn't succeed. Um, not really. I actually kind of want to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting shit for me. You know, between you and me, I was kind of hoping you'd say that. I'll just chop him in the face. Okay. So I assume that's under combat. Oh, there you are. I see it now. Uh, yep. If you go to combat, you can just click. Get that. I've got Axe Fighter. So. Oh. Oh, wow. my God. Well, come on. Was... All those dice and nothing. Okay, I will push that. Okay, you do hit. You Ooh. take three damage to strength as you strain yourself on this. Uh, he's going to take two damage. Let me roll armor. Uh, and he soaks one of that. He takes one point of damage. Thought I was really dumping all of my eggs into a basket, but I apparently can't, can't do what I was built to do. Uh, so he has a sword... And he's going to attack you right back for Bounty. All right. Uh, he misses, though. <sighs> All right. Other bandits are dead. Finlar. Oh, baby. Um, how far can I move? Uh, you're fine. We're doing the basic range band, so you can definitely move up if you want to get engaged with him. Yeah, sure. No. Well slip past for about here and I'll just take a stab at it with my sure knife. thing. Yeah. Bing bang boom. About two successes, Pow. two damage. Uh that is the party sheet. I need to open up his character sheet. Uh he takes two damage. That is lethal damage on him. So let's roll slashing. Good, good job, everyone. <laughs> what weapon were you using? A knife. Okay, I'm going to roll stab. Uh, you stab him right in the side of the face and take out a huge chunk <laughs> of his ear uh, as he is now broken on the ground. Uh, combat is over. That's what you get for not listening to common sense. So no, he can't listen to anything. <laughs> by right. the rules of Forbidden Lands, they're all lying on the ground, unconscious and broken. What do you want to do? McGavin oh. drags the halfling behind some bushes and just say, I'll be back in a bit. Don't forget the scalp. Oh, right. I totally did, actually. It's really the funny thing. I was just going to start eating, and then I realized, <laughs> yes, okay, I'll leave a little da, bit. Da, 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 just get the scalp. Oh. <laughs> did you guys want any? No, uh, I'm good. It's a trick I, question. I, I wasn't going to let it in your head. God. Stay away from my food. Watching my girlish figure and all. You collect <laughs> four scalps. It shows. Thank you. I've been trying to keep a little more svelte. I've been working on my movement. Hmm. I mean, you were moving quite nice. Okay, I can't get distracted by this. I've got a halfling day. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, now what? Just the best. I'll uh, loot them. Sure. Get yeah. all their stuff. On them, I have tables for this. You find a bronze shield. A bronze medallion. Uh, four copper. And a bronze or a bone whistle. Uh, searching through the wagon. Uh, only 14 coppers in there. Uh, okay, so how are we divvying up this stuff? I suppose we could wait until we get to town. I mean, mm. uh, 
we might not survive the the ruins of Castle Crawl. So, is there yeah. any major difference between a bronze shield and a regular shield? No. I think the bronze shield is just worth a little more. But I don't need something that's pretty. I've already got just a plain, plain old shield here. Okay. Uh, Sorry, wife had a question. I'm that, back. That's all right. Uh, so yeah, they just looted the bodies. Um, and the cart. There wasn't a whole lot there. Anything else you all want to do before moving on? Maybe should we see if they have a camp or something like that? If you want to give me a scouting roll, you can see if you can locate it. Can we follow the wagon tracks? Uh, the wagon tracks were actually... Um, I'll give this to you free without a roll. Coming the opposite direction, so like coming from Edgewater, and yeah. stopped pretty much right here. You can actually see a little bit of dried blood here and there. And then it looks like they just positioned it as a spot to... But other than 14 copper, there wasn't anything on the wagon, and this does look like a merchant's wagon. Well, maybe it's somewhere else? Yeah, if you want to give me a scouting test, someone wants to give me scouting, see if you can find it. Now, is this just limited to one person? Yeah, you can all look. Oh, baby. We got a single success. Hooray. Bigger no hooray, I think. No I'm successes. going to invoke my pride. When you catch the scent of gold, nothing can stop your pursuit sure, of it. Sure, give me that pride. Push using that. Oh, uh, at uh, what is the pride die again? It's a D12. It's a D8. Is D8. It, oh, it's a D12. Okay. okay. I couldn't remember which one it was. I thought it was a D8, but. Well, hopefully it's a success. It is. Uh, not. It is not. So you lose your pride. Uh, <laughs> but collectively, you find enough, you pull enough successes. You eventually track down a small camp. Uh, and in this camp, kind of tucked into like a little cranny, you find a small strong box. Inside, you find... Well, you don't find a cabinet. That's just silly. <laughs> what's inside the cabinet? Oh, it's a chest. A okay, what's inside box, the chest? A painting. Silver goblet. This is. I'm going to bump up a table. This is boring. Here we go. Uh, fuck. That's boring. Too. Oh. Gold tray and some money. There you go. That's what you find. <clears throat> all right. Who's keeping track of all that? I don't think we've elected anyone to do it yet. I don't feel like doing it maybe this game. Jake's got it. I do. Oh, Jake's got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm writing yeah. stuff down here. Okay. I, I do it in most of the games. So. Ooh, ooh, let me make you a journal entry. Um, I call it. Actually, I think you can record this stuff in the party sheets. There's a note section. So, yeah, just record it in the party sheet. Well, that's handy. All right. It's a shame that you can't like uh, drag them out of the I know. Wall. I'm a little disappointed mm -hmm. by that. Okay. So you find some loot, and I'm going to take eight years to go back to the map. Eight years later. Do, 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 Somehow, despite do, do, do. having. Literally more than double the dice. I was a better scout than I was a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is sometimes. That's how it goes. I'm trying to remember, it was in our, our last Forbidden Lands game. I'd be able to roll like 10 or 12 dice for my uh, scouting roll, and I'd usually get one success, but I'd have that like two dice check, and I'd like get that one. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. So we're consistently through our first quarter day. Uh, we can make two more hexes uh, before we kind of reach our upper limit. So, back to the scouting sheet. Let's roll for another hex. All right. Double timer 
were traveling, McGavin's just like in front of, you know, Farbody and, and Mafuna, and it's just Mafuna, excuse me, just like, I feel so much more powerful. So much more powerful. <laughs> I mean, you're looking good. I mean, if you are what you eat, do you eat things that are twice your size? That means like you're a spiritual giant, basically. Uh, I am a spiritual giant, yeah. but not a real giant because I was a tin halflings in a trench coat. But a spiritual one's totally something different. Totally right. That's that's you're the true giant, and you're gonna kill those false giants. That's right. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I knew I'd like you, buddy. I knew I shouldn't have listened to that little voice in my head that said you were two halflings in a trench coat. I ignored it, and I said, no, that can't be right. That can't be. He's too svelte. You know? He's too <laughs> <Yeah>. svelte. <laughs> All right. Uh, at the end of this hex... <laughs> right. Uh, you do make it to the small village of Edgewater. Um, you could travel another two miles today if you wanted to, or if you all want to find a place to rest here for the night, that's also a possibility. Mm. What do you want to do? Gavin will say. I, I had a lot to eat today. I'm kind of getting cramps in me legs. I wouldn't mind taking a nap. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to go traveling too far on a full stomach. Yeah, let's find us a cheap to rest. Do we need to like tuck you in it? What? That's inappropriate. What's wrong with you? Come on. No. You don't need to tuck me in. What? What the? Put you in your Jimmy Jams. Jimmy Jams. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Mc, <laughs> Mc, Mc, McGavin has got a loincloth on and his his bow strap and his quiver strap. That's that's yeah. that's everything. <laughs> so is this where some of us volunteer for some of the other spots? Yeah. So to speak? Like Well, the or nice if thing you do is one of those, you don't get to rest. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, so the, the way it naturally works, uh, you can travel up to two quarter days without having to push it. That leaves you a third quarter day mm -hmm. where you can make camp, you can hunt, you can fish, you can do all those other things, and then the last quarter day, you rest. Is hunting and fishing survival? Uh, let's see, that's in the party sheet. Looks like most of it's survival. Yeah, it is. Pretty much everything's around. I would like to go and get us a few hair or fish or something for dinner. Okay. So, Mifune, if you want to do, I'll drop you down and hunt. So, if you open up the party sheet, uh, I've got you down in the hunt section. You can just click on the find prey, and it'll automatically do the roll for you and give us all of our proper outputs. Okay. So, kill prey. Uh, you want to do find, find prey. prey. Okay. One. Does one help or does one only feed me? Uh, no, you find some prey. Let's look okay. at our find prey table. Uh, and uh, you find uh, some crows. Uh, do you have a ranged weapon? I do not. Okay, they're a little bit out of your reach. You got uh, some rocks. Uh, if, yeah, I find some rocks. Yeah, <laughs> if, you, them uh, with rocks. <laughs> if you want to hit me that kill prey. Mm. Ooh, unless you want to push that. I'll push it. I don't want to come back with nothing. I do not come back with nothing. Or you Apparently you. Yes, I do. You. You hurt yourself with yeah. the rocks. <laughs> I pull something as I hurl these rocks. Yeah. Ah! You, you come back with a minor <laughs> brain. You threw out your shoulder a little bit. <coughs> All right. Anything else anyone wants to do? Anyone making camp? Well, I was going to say, uh, looks. I mean, McGavin talked about wanting to get himself a good night's sleep, and I do see uh, find a good place to sleep being an option. Sorry, do I, I mean, take a condition from that or? Uh, no, it automatically applied one point of damage to your wits. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and find us a good place to sleep. Sure. Go ahead and roll that for me. It's just survival then. Yep. And you can just click on the find a good place to. And you can. Oh, can. oh okay. Yep. Nice. I'll roll it for you. Yeah, man. Ooh. Apparently, nice. I'm a. 
despite having 11 dice to fight with, survival is what I do. You find it's a, Claymore all over again. Yeah. It is, it is Claymore. A great place to set up camp. Uh, we still are going to need someone to make camp. Um, I, I can do that technically if yeah, we want. Conifer, if you want to. Because I have a small tent and it gets me a bonus. Sure. Go ahead and roll it. Make sure to take your bonus. You can just click on make camp. Yeah. So thanks to Conifer and for Bounty working together, you've got a great camp set up. Uh, sadly, Mifune wasn't able to bring back any food, but you all should have some rations. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, Finlar, anything you want to do? Uh, I think I will, uh, eat, drink, and jump straight to the resting. Okay. So, my wits are about shot. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. Resting. Uh, if your rest is interrupted, uh, you recover all the tribute points. Ooh, nice. So let me give us a roll to see if anything happens overnight. And it is an uneventful night. Hooray. Yay. Stats for everyone. All right, everyone <clears throat> can recover all of their stats. And I do. Uh, how about willpower damage? Does that go away or? Uh, it says oh, willpower is something you use yeah oh. you took you took wits damage i took wits yes. damage okay yeah. yeah and that's healed yeah yep. that's healed fine okay we leave those willpower boxes checked until willpower, you're ready to spend them yeah. willpower you use to like power certain abilities and things like that you burn yep. willpower to be able to do certain things so as you're, my healed, as you're, is there a healing button or just put there's the not back? if you just just right click, right -click, on, click on the little circles circles uh little circles with the x's uh, uh, under your the attributes main tab. Yeah, the, main tab, the yeah. main tab under the attributes so like if you're left down, clicking them will put i x's in and right clicking will take them out you oh it's because your things aren't filled out all the way Blood yeah you in. need to have yeah five it's five oh you gotta put the numbers current, in the left right okay, is total uh, yeah, so there you, you go okay. so you okay. would have had one point of damage to wits Okay. So now if you right click on it, that'll resolve and go away. Okay, I got you. Okay, okay, I see. Sorry. Didn't but, know the sheet. That's all right. Uh, let's see. I was just looking up the journey rules. In the top right, you should see your willpower boxes are checked for the damage that you got. Yeah. Oh, so that's what we need to right click to get rid of that. No, willpower, well, willpower you keep. Willpower don't, no. Oh, okay. Willpower, so yeah, as willpower you, will accrue as you yeah. do it. Check. As mm. you push rolls and you take damage to yourself from pushing those rolls, you gain a point of willpower for each point of damage you take. And you can spin that willpower to activate your talents. Ah, uh, okay. Now that makes yeah. sense. Now I know. Not, not all of them require it, but some of them do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, okay. Now I understand my true grit thing better. Cool. Good deal. All right. Uh, so yeah, you all didn't go into Edgewater. You just camped out. Uh, we're ready to continue on with our journey. Okay. Let's do some okay. more rolls. Let me move myself back over there. Oh, cool. It pasted right where I wanted it. Now I have to ask you: Do you do you eat those people raw, or do you tend to do you cook them up? Like, do you at least braise them or something? Cook? What? What do you mean? Like. Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. I mean, uh, I mash them, but uh, yeah, I mean, I mash them up a bit, you know. I got, I got my tooth is bugging me, you know. I got like something in it or someone, I don't know. But anyway, I've been trying to get it out with my arrows. So that's why I mash them down really good, get a nice puree and stuff, so it doesn't hurt. Mm. You need to find someone who's got like a good bit of like back hair, a chest hair on them, so that way you can chew and floss at the same time. <laughs> it's glorious. So like if they got steel wool growing out of their chest or something. Uh, all right, so we did good. Yes. Yeah. Well, might even, you and I are going to be fast friends. Might even shine your teeth up a little bit. All right, we're good. God bless it. I clicked off the map. Oh my God. Let's start <laughs> another roll. You guys don't have to wait for me. Okay. Close edge water. Jeez. 
Jeez, I'm not having much You want to push that, or you're going to let it stand, yeah. and we can roll a uh, lead the way mishap? Why does it throw them out one at a time? I, I don't know. It's like it's like if I were rolling it, I'm just like, one, two, Well, the, on the initial rolls, it doesn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's so weird. Can, um, there's some, like, some settings you can adjust with yeah. Dice So Nice, too, that make it faster. And, okay. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's going to be our first quarter day of our second day of the journey. Uh, we are now moving nice uh, into a portion of the Black Swamps. So the journey continues. Let's get our next roll out there. Here we go. All right. E, nice. My spyglass is real handy at seeing through trees. Hey guys, the road is going that way, so let's stay on it. All right, stay. See these trees here, people? These trees right here? They're part of the swamp. Oh, right, you tree. <laughs> that that was the response up. I was supposed to give to that, right? The okay, it goes up to a short one or a bush and just like... Mm. No, no. <laughs> and just walks away. It could Ooh. just be a halfling holding a couple of branches. <laughs> it could be. Now that's when you turn around and jump and go, ha, ah, and see if it's scared or not. <laughs> so, Finlar, you are playing our Stab it. scout. <laughs> Let me get a few things set up. As you all begin your trek through the swamps, finding, you know, safe paths to move across... Finlar, your scouting check, you actually, you hear some kind of strange crunching noise. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> in the swamp? Ahead. Yeah, in the swamp portion. Be possible to uh, investigate silently? You're going to have to give me a stealth roll. Oh boy. I'm going to prove how stealthy I really am. Jake, I'm looking at your character sheet. Would you do it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, let's do this. And let's take. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so as you carefully creep up, you come across and you start to smell it. You find a corpse lying under a broken branch. And there's these three large insect looking, like the strange hybrid of like caterpillar, beetle, cockroach, with these long tentacles out of the front of its mouth as they, you see three of them happily stripping away and crunching on this corpse. I think I will back away and tell the party, hey, let's not go there. What kind of corpse was it? It was a normal person, unfortunately. What do you mean, a normal person? It wasn't, uh, it wasn't someone who deserved it. It wasn't a halfling. The halfling would have deserved it. Okay. All right. Good regard. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. You know, wearing a trench coat, are you there, Fedlar? No, no, just a vest. A vest oh, which would be too large for a halfling. Even a halfling is... that's the top half of two halflings in a vest. Bro, it looks it looks quite dashing. No, oh, thank you. I uh, purchased it at a store. <laughs> At this moment, I did. with um, Fenlar's stealth roll, these creatures are totally unaware of you. Just go, guys. Let's just go. Yeah. Let's just uh, sneak around the creepy bug people who eat people and uh, be on our way. Okay. I myself wear this armor specifically to keep halflings out of my nooks and crannies. That's Oof. smart. That's very smart. I hear what you're saying. I don't wear armor because I don't want any halfling trying to hide inside of it, you know? 
That's good thinking. That would be a shame. Yeah. They're quite oh crafty. Okay. Sneak. You can tell there's no halflings hiding in your clothing. So here's Don't. what we're going to do. If you want to just bypass these strange insect creatures eating on this corpse, we're going to do a party stealth roll. So pick out the person <laughs> who's best at stealth. <laughs> And that person will get a plus three bonus for the others helping them. Is anybody good at stealth? I have no stealth, but five agility. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. that's better than me. <laughs> better than me. All right, McGavin, you're going to take a stealth roll with a plus three modifier. How are you, Farbody? Are you good? No, I've got a three. Okay. And frankly, I'm damn proud of having a three agility as a dwarf. <laughs> that is pretty good, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty that is wild, pretty good, yeah. yeah. All right, so three. All right, here we go. My empathy, yeah, on the we... other hand. Oh, shit. Do you want to push that? <laughs> I'll push. Scatter them I out. see some successes. Oh. Take oh. two points of damage to agility, but you do get it through just having to, to dance around and get past these without noticing you. You take some some strain on yourself, but stop my toesies. You did. As we take another eight years to load the map. I wonder how I can make that load faster. It's a huge map. What uh, what kind of file is it? Uh, PNG. Uh, put it into WebP. Well, that okay. Like w yeah, it makes uh, that's what I do a lot, and it okay. uh, loads faster. Uh, the sizing of it, though, it is 4,310 <laughs> pixels wide. Yeah, I was going to say, just size it, it down to like 6,424. Cut that in half, maybe. Oh. You, you could potentially part it out into like different pages, too, if you want to keep the resolution. Oh, that's a good mm -hmm. idea. I like that. I was just thinking everything quadrants. pixels. That's fine. Okay, uh, we're moving. Next roll. Maybe have like a, a low quality big area map so we can still see all the things and then have your high resolution for where we're playing. Yeah. Yeah. To sort that. yeah. Ashley, thanks for allowing the captain to fart. <clears throat> okay, that's hey, fine. There no problems. Go. And my roll. Nothing. All right. So here's the question. At this point, you can either stick with the swamps and travel along the shores of Lake Ganif and make your way to the ruins of Crawl. Or if you're hoping for some kind of orc encounter, you can head up onto the Horn Hills and then travel around the edge of the Horn Hills and then cut into the swamp or yeah, when it's closer to Crawl. Which do you want to do? So you're saying it's a choice between creepy bug people in the goddamn swamp or halflings stacked atop each other, pretending to be orcs. Yes. Is that really it's even not. a choice then? It's not. It's just, really I mean, not. Really, it's not. Go yeah. halflings, absolutely. There's only one course of action here, I think. Frankly, I would say that's science, and we don't argue with science. <laughs> And let's all say it together at the same time what that course of action is so that no one's confused. <laughs> One, two, three. So the murder. Are closer to what? the horn hills. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's amazing. Where's my, I'm going to write that time down. <laughs> We're going to live forever. It's true. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have the best party. Oh, I heard myself echo. <laughs> We're doing okay so far. <laughs> doing okay. Why does the music stop? <laughs> music, keep playing. We're going to listen to Unicorns of Death. Ooh. Hopefully. Maybe. How about Vibrations of the Universe? There we go. Vibrations of the Universe is playing. Cool. Oh, snap. Melissa, thanks for those bits. Uh, what is it? 100 bits? Everyone gets a willpower. So go ahead and Ooh. take a WP. 
Very nice. cool. Really crank. I'm really getting up there. I'm already to six. Nice. All right. Nothing to use all, it on. <laughs> yeah. Make it to the borders. Uh, one, two, three, four. Technically, you shouldn't have been able to make that one, but I wasn't counting. Uh, so um, let's just go another one, and uh, then we'll worry about camera. <clears throat> so let's do our next uh, lead the way and scouting test. All right. Let's go find those halflings. How did we do? Keep watch. We did good. Lead the way. There we go. You pulled hey. it out. Okay. Ooh. So, I mean, you didn't take any damage since there's no skull or whatever? This time I did not take any damage. Pushing is oh. not always dangerous, but sometimes it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's backfire. Dangerous. Okay. It's, it's always the right decision to push. Oh. You, you can, you know, reduce your stats out. If that is what the pushing. great bard Salt and Pepper said. The yeah. yeah. The nice thing is, is you cannot break yourself by pushing. Mm. You just, you know, cripple your stats. Yeah. All okay. right. So, as we move along the edge of the Horned Hills. Uh, Fenlar, you spot it kind of off in the distance up in the hills on the between the trees. You see a very crude looking almost fort like this wooden palisade. You can see some uh, wisp of smoke coming up <clears throat> like a fire and kind of poking over the edge. You see um, what looks like two orcs standing on some kind of a tower keeping watch and they haven't noticed you yet. Hmm. I suppose I'll make my way back to the party and inform them that I have seen a great wooden fort. Um, well, maybe not great. It's actually kind of shabby, really. But a uh, wooden fort nonetheless uh, with some orc-shaped individuals keeping watch. Oh my god. How many? Twelve. Two keeping watch, which means that there's a lot more waiting to jump us if we make ourselves. So is it like an orc that's missing the upper third of its body, or is it like two orcs meaning six halflings? I'd imagine it's six. I imagine it's six halflings. Uh, yes, uh, I couldn't quite get a good enough look at them, but uh, from what I could see in my spyglass, I would say six, yes. Okay, okay. <coughs> we got this. Let's get him. Now, Snake um, up on him. Fire away. Uh, um, you know what? I'm feel. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Is that a wooden tower? Yes. Yes. Wooden. Let me adjust the. Hey, Gavin, are you against shooting flaming arrows? Oh, go to my. I never miss my mark, Mr. Farbody. Never. I mean, would you rather cook your halfling this time? Right. I mean, we Stop did talk about whether or not you. This cooking thing. What, what, what is this cook thing well, you're talking about? So let's say that you have shoot a flaming arrow into a wooden tower that has a bunch of halflings stacked one right. upon another, and then okay. they perish in that fire. So they're slightly right. crispy. Right. right. Do you like that better or worse? Mine, I why well, ball it a Troy? I, did, I, thought, I mean, okay, if that's what we want to do, it's fine. It's fine, mate. Whatever. I mean, you're gonna do your chef's bed. <laughs> <laughs> you have a field kitchen. You know, we could, we could, cook, we could cook them, cook them up. Okay. Listen, good well, I like you. You're, you're you're all good people, but I'm not sharing any of them. Okay, there can oh, be only I, one. I don't want to eat them. I'm just saying I could cook it for you. Okay. You're all standing there arguing long enough that I'm going to give them a chance to spot you. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. Oh, they don't, <laughs> we make they good have decisions. no chance. Uh, yeah, they're terrible at those stats. <laughs> they're scouts, but they're bad at it. Okay. Pretty much. Your spyglass is backwards. Yeah. 
Or the tree is so, so tiny. Far away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to shoot the flaming arrow at the thing they're on and not shoot them. Is that what we're saying? That's a good question. Who's in charge? I haven't figured out the dynamic yet. Um, it's definitely um, not me. That's a really bad idea. <laughs> I feel like I should be in charge, but I feel that if I am in charge, that could go badly. Now, I know that logically it makes sense to try to go for the kill and just make sure to dwindle their numbers. But, you know, the heart of it says you need to burn them alive. Okay. So, McGavin wants to hold out his arrow to my Fabody waiting for the fire. Okay, go ahead, light me up. All right, baby, I'll light your fire. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, and then I mean, Gavin would like to aim and fire and see if he can, like, light up the wooden thing. That yeah, it's a big target. Go ahead and take a uh, plus one bonus on just your marksman roll. Okay, so... I noticed that my one of my talents was in triggering last time. I think I might have fixed it that it actually cool. is properly, but we'll see. Oh, I see where it is. You can do the thing. Okay. I got it now. And then you said plus another one. Yeah. All right. So, all right. I see it now. See a success. That's all that's needed as you plant an arrow. There's no way we're making a mistake fighting this in Cameron of Works. <laughs> no way. This, this. this is going to be fine. <clears throat> it's what we're supposed to do, right? So when we PK roll session our one. new characters, uh, <laughs> there will be a bounty for some orcs. <laughs> McGavin's going to be so powerful after he eats all these half I'm going to get the level 20 right off the bat. Because that's this game, right? This level 20? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to see, but there's a light right? spot where your fire hit. Gotcha. Uh, and with that, we're just going to go to initiative, I think. Awesome. All right. So we're going to roll on the phone first. Because you get two cards. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you get a one. You're going to keep the one because that's first up. Unless you want the four. No, I'll keep the one. The right, so Gavin and let him shoot again. <laughs> and didn't you get like 20 cards before we started every fight last, uh, last time? I got before? like four of them or something yeah. like that. <laughs> it was wild. So only 10 cards in a deck. Dan gets, you know, four copies of each and then we start. Damn, I, I'd still get like six, seven, eight, nine, six, though. Still <laughs> uh, for Bounty. <clears throat> Fenlar pulls a nine. And Gavin gets a four. Oh my god. Someone else can have my two. I mean, I do love getting knee deep into the shit of these people. But yeah, I should say elbow deep. I mean, is there really enough room for your elbow and halfling? Maybe. All right, so beginning our combat, Mifune. So it's going to be, um, you're at kind of long range, so to get up in melee range, uh, I'm going to say you're going to have to use your slow action and your fast action. So in this, like a lot of the other Forbidden Lands games, you have a slow action and a fast action. Uh, fast action is usually movement, slow action is usually your attack. Uh, so yeah, Mert, you're up. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I do then. I'll use those actions to move. Um, I did want to give my turn up. Oh, okay, I forgot about that. Uh, so yeah, uh, Conifer had a two. Who wants that two? 
Vince, do you want to shoot somebody there, McGavin, or do you want me to run up there and like boogity boogity at him? Actually, Chuck, I'm can doing, I? I'm going pretty soon, so you should. Can, make. can I take? Can I use my actions to get there and then take cover underneath this yeah, tree? Give me a, uh, so that I'm not archered at. Yeah, give me a stealth action. Uh, so for bounty, it sounds like you're getting a two. Sounds, sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, you do I don't really want to stealth. I just want to run there anyway. Just get under the tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad that I gave you all the ability to add notes. Or the right <laughs> tool. Okay. Mufuna, you make it up there. You're sure that they spotted you, but you are crouched down in this bush. So if they take any kind of ranged action, I will give you some kind of bonus for having cover. Okay. Uh, next up, we have for Bounty. All right, so can't quite reach melee range with them and take action turn. So yeah. I think Mifune's got the right of it. I'll probably come join him and try and do the same. Sure, go for it. Make it to the bush. If you want to hide, you can give me a stealth. All right. Let's see if I continue being successful at things I should be terrible at. <laughs> yeah, you succeed. I'm a sneaky son of a bitch. That's... Just don't make me actually use the things I put. Uh, so this orc sees that Mufune has ran up. <sighs> Take a look. Uh, they don't have any ranged weapons, so he's actually going to use this slow act. Well, he's going to use a free action to yell out. It's terrible. Like this cry and he's going to use his fast action to move up here and his slow action to leap down right next to Mufune. Uh and he does succeed so I won't be having him take any damage so he just leaps into this bush and he's right next to you now Bert <clears throat> sure uh let me Gavin, you're up. Okay, I was called on in this moment to take <clears> the one that's still up to the cowardly orc that hasn't hasn't hopped down yet. I yeah. appreciate the other the other two halflings at least left. So I'm gonna take very close aim, trunger finger, kick out the guy on my mouth, and I'm on a fire. So fast action aim, so I can get a plus one on my attack, and then Good. yeah. Uh, so, so my sharpshooter, and, uh, and then I get that. Okay. Boom. Wow. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, oh, man. That's enough to kill at least two of those halflings. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to push? Plus I get, plus I get halfling favored enemy, and so it's like 20 to... No, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are wearing some studded armor. So he's gonna soak one of those. So he takes. Uh, I will. I will burn a willpower to actually go through that armor. Okay. On one second. Um, God, I'm gonna push it real good. Just I want. I'll put this out here. Four damage is gonna break him. Okay. Do you want to save your so, willpower, or do you want to do it? Uh. <laughs> no, I don't think I you mean, get any it benefit. It. Yeah, I mean, if there's no, if there's no benefit, I don't. Yeah, I just yeah. would hate for you to okay. burn willpower. Okay. Yeah, I just realized my path of the arrow lets me bypass. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, and then critical injury. This is stab. It would be funny though if you believed that they're all halflings. If Ooh, you get to apply a favorite enemy lung. to them. <laughs> uh, it is lethal in a D6 days. Uh, so yeah, this dude is broken. All right. Yeah, he is. They're both broken. I just took two of them out. That guy's down. <laughs> this guy wakes up. I just got that because they're halflings. <laughs> <laughs> so does this guy. Now, these walls are about 10 feet tall. Uh, and that takes us over to Conifer. 
point. Uh, I guess. Would I be able to move? Oop, oh no, don't do that. Would I be able to move up and give this guy a whacking, or would that be too far for me to move uh, and do something? It would be too far for you to move and attack. Okay, then I will just kind of move up and kind of near. Okay. Fenlar? I, too, will move up to near. All right. Takes us back up to Mufune. Bert, what do you got? All right. I am going to beat on the guy that's in front of me here with my short sword. Sounds like a great plan. Which really I kind of wield like a club. <laughs> All right. So that is what a uh, melee? On or? your combat tab, you oh, can just click on the name of your the weapon. Sword. Okay. Boom. Oh, I see some sixes. Oh, that's a lot of ones. You pull one point of damage. You can push mm -hmm. it, but you will be taking one point of damage to strength, or do you want to let the one stand? Okay, so I take one or I give one? Uh, you're both. dealing one point of damage. If you push it, then... I'm not going to push it. I'll okay. just deal the one. Uh, cool. What is your path of... I have to be stealthy, which I will almost never be. This was completely randomly rolled. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's so much that's kind of contradictory. That's okay. why I went with the Mifune, kind of. <laughs> okay. Uh, he does soak all of your damage, though. Uh, at the uh, end of the night, if you want to retool your character, that's fine. No, I kind of like how it ended up. It's, okay. it's fine. <laughs> okay. He very stealthily crushed those yeah, thieves. You, that, uh, that was awesome. <laughs> you give your attack, but he's able to soak it up with his armor. Yeah, it is, it's absolutely because I'm hitting him with the flat of the blade. <laughs> so I really don't know how to use the thing. <laughs> That's beautiful. For Bowdy, you're up. Well, I'm still, I'm actually hidden at the moment. You are? So I kind of want to, strangely enough, the rogue was not stealthy, but the fighter will be stealthy and come <laughs> up. And as the rogue is busy, <laughs> stealthily beating him in the face with the flat of the blade, for Bowdy will just make the best of the situation and try to chop him in the small of that back with his sure. axe. Go ahead and give me that attack roll. All right. Uh, relax, X fighter, yes. So do you have a heavy weapon, uh, Jeremy? Uh, I don't know if it's heavy or not. I think if it's a battle axe, it is. So like what you could potentially do is, I think you can do like your, uh, as a fast action, you can do swing <clears> weapon. <throat> Uh, and then with your um, with your slow action, you can like attack like normal, and that mm -hmm. would give you uh, your damage done will be increased by plus one. So that's like the fast like that's the fast slow action combo, but it only works for if you have a heavy weapon attack. Uh, on battle it. axe is heavy. Okay, ah, that's okay. I, I did what I did. I was I was being stealthy. So I stealthily chop him in the small of his back for five uh, points of damage. Five points of damage. Uh, let me roll his armor. He is definitely taking damage. There's no way around it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna find the spot right between the two halflings. He soaks one, <laughs> so he is gonna take four points of damage, uh, which is gonna break him. Gotta listen for two voices to scream out in pain. Yeah. Like in uh, stereo. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, sever... you, gotta, like, you gotta turn your head to the side to get the stereo effect, you know, top and down. You swing mm. hard, you catch him in the back of the leg, and it just cuts the tendon as his leg goes limp underneath of him, and he crashes to the ground broken. <laughs> uh, and this dude is broken, so he's out of combat. As more of them... I'm going to start running for the gates. McGavin, you're up. From where you're at, you don't see any. I can't see any. Okay. Um, I will... How far can I get to the southwest? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, with my fast action. Uh, just your fast action, maybe half of that. Okay. All right. So then, yeah, I'll just I'll just move. Then I'll spend my whole action just kind of getting into place. Okay. So I'll be heading down there so I can start seeing them coming out of the gate. Yeah, y'all have a good line of sight there. There's more coming. Let's get them. Let's just get all of them. So many scopes. So much mm -hmm. money. 
I'm gonna gain so much weight from this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of the gains, McGavin. Kind of you might right. have to like, so much I have to cook some of them, put some of them back so you can eat them over a period of days. Yeah. <gasps> we can try them, wrap them up so we have them on the tray. Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant. Dan, you're out. Hobbit snacks. Uh, Genius. Combat's not really my thing, so I'm kind of going to move up here and try to hide in the, the shrubberies where everyone else is hiding. Because that seems like a great idea. If you're actively idea. hiding, you're going to give me a stealth roll. Oh, I, I'm actively hiding, and I will give you something that resembles a stealth roll. No. You're hiding very poorly. <laughs> Nobody said I was good at that either. All right, Finlar, you're up. All righty. I will finish moving up uh, into what would have been close range earlier. Yep. But, um... <clears throat> Seeing uh, my compatriots at least attempting to be stealthy, uh, I'm just going to turn around and uh, shoot the moon towards the gate so that uh, I'm the first thing that they see. <laughs> I, the orcs will remember that. <laughs> Mifune, uh, you're at a point here where if you took your movement, you could get into melee range with that first orc there. Uh, I do so. It's the first orc at the gate or? Yep. The one I'm pinging there. Okay. I'll see if I get the right side of the blade this time. There you go. I need a brighter color. Just make sure you point it away oh, from there yourself. You go. Take Ooh, the yeah. scabbard off first. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I don't, and I just beat him as if it were a club, and it does better. <laughs> so you don't have any ones on that, so if you want to push, slow risk, you might get more damage. Okay. Uh, if I roll worse, though, do I have to take the new one, or do you're you can't always going to get your three can't damage? Your three okay, damage yeah, is I'll guaranteed. Push. Oh, look at that! There we go. So nice. yeah, you bump it up to four damage, but you did take a point of damage to strength. Okay. That means you also got a willpower. Yeah. And you did get a willpower. So let me roll my armor. No, he takes all four damage, Mifune. Mm. Uh, you. Somehow, miraculously, get the sword in the right direction, and you break this orc by... Let's see what you did. <clears throat> this would be bludgeoning damage. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give it to him as a sword. Uh, you yeah. cut his fucking leg off. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. Okay. Which of the four? It's the fragile uh, halfling let's legs. See. Left, second left, right, second right. Uh, second right leg. It's a good eating. I think that's the upper one, right? <laughs> the one who's standing on top of the other one is yeah. the second. Uh, for Bounty, you're up. Let's see. I can start moving in, but I assume those are the guys that are slightly further in, too far for me to reach and yeah, take action. Yeah, you can probably get in one of the spots right in front of Mifune. All right. I'll do that. I'll kind of come here to kind of hold the gap, use okay. my movement to do that, and then basically just kind of raise a shield defensively and okay, be ready to parry, I guess. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, and you're going to need to as this first one runs up. Uh, McGavin, he does come into your view. Uh, and he is going to take a slash at you with a scimitar. Uh, he does land a hit. So if you want to roll me your parry, what is that? That's a just a melee roll, I think. Is that correct? I, I think, yeah, I've got a, I think I just click on the shield to do it. Okay. There we go. Oh god, all those dice. Yeah, man. Wow. It's you off. Completely block his attack. Parried the ever living daylights out of that. I'm gonna move you this guy it. out of the way. Is this guy's gonna close up? Uh I've got two options to attack. So one to two is for Bounty. Three to four is Mifune. Uh, uh, real quick. Have we explained like the actions in combat business fast action? 
I touched on it very, very briefly. If you want to give us a quick recap while I roll some dice at Bert. Just that's uh, like you need to save an action for parrying and things like mm -hmm. that. So if you move an attack, you won't have an action to parry. There are talents that you can there take that allow yeah. you to get more parries and like, you know, stuff like that, yeah. like with Sword Fighter, especially. It's like uh, kind of a cool track. But Mifune, as this orc runs up and swings at you with its sword, uh, it misses. <laughs> uh, it's McGavin. good because I don't have armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, McGavin. Can, uh, yeah. Can McGavin see the one that uh, is on Mifune? Yeah. Or will he have to move? No, I can, I'll let I can you see have him it. from there. Yeah. Okay. Is this is this long? I have long range on my. Uh, uh yeah, this would be bow. long range. Yeah. Okay, then I will. I'll just stay here then, and I'll I'll take an aim. Right. I'll be like, my phone I, uh, suck in for a second. And uh, <laughs> I will aim, and I will uh, fire at the one that's on. Sure thing. So, and then I get this one for aiming. Ouch. Oh, no, you got uh, some successes. Okay. I didn't see any. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you want to push? No, I'll let it go. Okay. I'm already down with some agility. Okay. Uh, he does have armor on, so I'm going to roll that. Do you want to use willpower to bypass that? Yeah. I okay. can bypass it. I'll do that. All right. Then I'm not going to roll armor, and he takes two okay. points of damage. Get them halflings. All right. Uh, that one's dead. Uh, this one closes in. Can't get a good clean shot because there's too many people in the way. Uh, where the fuck is this other one? Oh, that one's dead. Conifer, you're up. Do diagonals not go in this one? I'm trying to remember. I'm fine with diagonals. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, Forbidden Lands uses range band. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, so, yeah I guess that's true. So I guess I'll try and... and uh, Go ahead and, and bop him. Sure, yeah. Because that's about as much as I can probably call it. Yeah, this is the one McGavin just shot. So you see an arrow sticking out of his shoulder. Yeah, I got him. Uh, do you want to push? Okay, <laughs> oh. you just miss. <laughs> Benlar, you're up. I'm good at literally nothing. Well, I'll make sure my pants are cinched up, and then I'll uh, move to take the opposite diagonal side, and then I'll try to reach around and stab with a knife. Sure, go ahead. Do you want to push? Uh, you know what? I think I will. Okay. For funsies. Why not? Uh... Hey. hey. You pull a success. Now I'm going to roll armor. He takes a point of damage, and I need to remember that actually reduces his armor. Okay, he takes a point of damage, still not down. That kicks us back up to Bert. All right, um, I still got a number of guys in front of me here. Target rich environment? Yeah. Uh, the one right in front of me. I'm going to go for him. Mm -hmm. Uh, the guy in front of you has taken a beating already, so that's a good shot to go for. I see a six. That's one point of damage. Uh, do you want to push or no? Um, no. All right. His armor is reduced. He takes both points of damage, and that slays him. Yeah. Nice. Let's see how it does. Or it breaks him. You cut his ear off. <laughs> <laughs> and he collapses to the ground, clutching at his ears. Well, where his ear was, spurting blood. No, uh, we need the scalps. That was just a slow action. You can move if you want. Uh... Yeah, I'll um, actually. So, can I keep that for defense? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you could use that to bank a parry. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bank a parry. Sure. For Bowdy, you're up. You I think I'll attack the one that's kind of 
diagonal up and right to me. Sure. Let's see how this goes here. My X fighter into effect and roll a bunch of dice. Nice. Three damage. You want to push? No, I feel good with that. All right. He takes all three. I need to reduce his armor. I'll save my action for a parry. All right, so that's three points of damage. That's fantastic. All right, we got a bunch of dead orcs. This one's not dead, and it's going to attack you for bounty. That's fair. I need to look up the rules for because your weapons degrade, don't they? Uh, if they take if if the damage die that has the skull on it, if or you the, push it, the, if if it's one of the black die, which are the item die, and then oh, okay. the, the, that's how it degrades. Okay. Uh, cool. All right, that orc misses. Uh, that one's dead. Uh, now we're at McGavin. McGavin, you still got line of sight. I'll say you got line of sight on this one. Okay. That's the one I'm going for. Okay. And then I'll just scream out. I hope none of y'all are hidden halflings because this arrow's about to find one of their asses. <laughs> uh, I will aim and fire as he has wants to do. All right. You're halfling seeking missiles. Yeah. Yep. They're magical. Oh my god. Ooh, are they points of damage? Yes. Uh, Am I rolling armor? I'm trying to see if like in what 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 comes first, the protection when you hit with a range web attack, I can spend willpower to find a weakness in your opponent's armor natural armor off protection protection against your attack. It says when I hit with it, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll burn a willpower. Okay. To make sure, it, yeah. Uh, then he's gonna take three points of damage. Doesn't drop him, but he's very close. Oops, let me go back one because this one is going to swing at for Bowdy. I hope that you do. He's taking a lot of damage, so he doesn't have a big dice pull anymore, and that is a miss. Conifer. But, but I saved an action to parry. I need you, you wasted my fucking time. <laughs> you goddamn amateurs. Conifer, you're up. Now you could move between for Bowdy and Mufune to get up in melee range. No. Okay. No. Sorry, good, this you? feels like a good place for Conifer. You cast a Doing spell. Doing nothing helpful. I, I have healing spells. <laughs> okay. I like the sound of that. <laughs> so I have like no no offense whatsoever because I didn't start with a ranged weapon. Um, would I be able to squeeze between Mifune and the opening to the gate? Absolutely. Alrighty. In which case I will do that and I will uh, take a stab at the fella to the northwest of me. Sure, so that one there, go ahead and roll your attack. Yeah. This is the one that uh, McGavin just shot. Do you want to push? Yeah, I'll push it. I gotta believe. You pull yeah, a success. Oh, you pulled yes. two successes. All right. Uh, I'm going to roll his armor. You drop him, man. Yeah. As you stab him with your knife. You do a stab wound. You stab him in the gut, rupture his intestines. <laughs> I stabbed the bottom one in the head, you mean? Yeah, you stabbed the bottom one in the head. Yeah. Uh, Mifune, you're up. You can move past your friends there. You can move through friendly spaces. All right, uh, so then I'll kind of step forward and try and take that guy out. Sure. To the left of me there. He's got some damage from Forbounty already. Ooh, I see a success. You pull two damage. Do you want to push it? No. 
Let's see what his armor does. Uh, you finish him off, man. Oh, good work, team. Good work. As you... Let's take a look at our slashing... You cut his nose off. <laughs> it's like completely inelegant swordplay, right? You know, yeah, absolutely. You're still not quite sure how that happened, but it did. Okay, all of the orcs have been slain. You're standing in their camp. Uh, here's our what camp. I'm, your camp. <laughs> Uh, here's what Our I'm going to say. Fire. We'll pick up next session and we'll do the looting and the taking it from there. Let me get my session notes so I don't forget. It's a nice looking little camp they have here. It is. Initially, I made this map for watercolors and warriors, so it's nice I get to reuse it. I'm just going to cross out the one I started eating so that you don't, don't got to worry about that one. Good. Oh, I would forget Good that. Eaten. Better eaten. Yep. Okay. We put the fire out so the whole place doesn't burn down around us at this point. I suppose. All right. Uh, so we got a few minutes left, but what I want to do as my stream is bogging down, maybe we will. I don't know what's going on with it. Fuck it. We're still recording, so the recording will get this conversation if the stream doesn't. Um, end of the first session, let's do our experience questions. What are the experience questions? What is this shit? I solved it. You did it. The stream was a halfling. The stream was a halfling. Page 39 <laughs> in the PDF if you've got a... There we go. I don't care. I've got the GM PDF open, but I don't have the player. All right, here we go. Did you participate in the session? If you did, you gain an experience point. One. <laughs> there you go. Did you travel through at least one hex on the game map that you had not visited before? Yeah, you all did that, so you get another one. Uh, did you discover a new adventure site? You know what? I'm willing to call this former orc camp an adventure site, so go ahead and take a point for that. Did you defeat one or more monsters? Yeah. Did Double you find halflings? Yo, know, did you defeat one or more halflings? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you find treasure worth one gold or more? Uh, yeah, from the bandits camp. You got some good stuff, so mm -hmm. take a point for that. Uh, did you build a function on your stronghold? No, we don't have a stronghold yet. We are going to use the stronghold rule. So if you all find a cool place you want to take over. Absolutely, and we can start doing stronghold stuff. Uh, anyone activate their pride? Uh, Jake did. Jake? You did yeah. lose it, yep. so Jake, you get a point for that. Uh, dark secrets didn't come into play. Does anyone feel like they risk their life for another PC? I, I feel like being in this yeah, party is a did. risk of my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And did you perform an extraordinary action of some kind? I flipped a cart. You did. Yeah, that was did. pretty badass. Yeah, was pretty Go cool. ahead and take yeah. a point for that. It, it was definitely stealthy because nobody would have seen it coming. Exactly. <laughs> An attempt was made at combat. All right. Mm. <laughs> uh, so that's like six. Sounds like it. I basically did nothing this entire session. Um, so where do you mark experience? You guided us through. Uh, there's a little box on the top Jeez. left. Uh, of your of your main character page, yeah, so underneath spending it's, it's across all the top of them. And so spending XP like talents have usually three tiers, or at least the general mm -hmm. talents do, and it's three XP for the first tier, six for the second, nine for the third. And if you want to do your skill, if you want to do skill ranks, the amount of XP that you're that you're going to in terms of the level is how much it costs. So if you're going from like level zero to level one, it's one XP from one to two, it's two XP, etc. So you're saying I right? could give myself four combat. I thought uh, it was multiplied times. by five. I think it's five times. Yeah, it's five times yeah. the, the skill that I read. I There's just five shared XP the to get level one. journal entry for leveling up. 
Okay. Yeah, leveling up skills can be quite expensive. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not giving myself four fighting. Something to keep in mind is that some talents can modify uh, like the skills as well. Yeah, I yeah. see someone that says something about like an artifact bonus on attacking. That's really good if you can get it because yeah. it's an extra die and it's better than a D6. Oh, so it's usually like a D8 or something like that. Yeah. So And you can get multiple successes on one die. Yeah. So like, it's much cheaper to invest in a talent that okay. will give you dice than it is to buy the skill generally. Because I think Axe Fighter would let me just automatically do an injury if I just do one point of damage. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's up with my connection. It's stabled out, so people should be able to see us here properly now. But it was like down to like a thousand, down to zero, back up, all over. I've got it set for five thousand as the max, but there for a second it was setting at eighteen thousand. Wow. I don't know that, but I don't fucking know. It's crazy. All right. Last thing I want to do before we sign out and do our plugs. Has anyone given any thought? We're gonna do buddies and we're gonna do rivals. Anyone got any thoughts on who their buddy is going to be? I didn't really have any strong interactions with anybody. <laughs> okay. If we need to kick it back a session, we can't. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm McGavin kidding. is fond of Farbodi at this point. That's mutual. Is, I like yeah. that crazy little shit. <laughs> All right. We so got I, think, I think that'll be his starting buddy. Okay, Great. Cool. But Mafuni, we, that motherfucker is the one that convinced <laughs> the rest of the party to go into the swamps. I have to say, I like his... Uh, I like the cut of his jib. Mifune's, uh love for gold is is admirable. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. So yeah, give some thought to it over the week. And if we need to kick it back another session, we can. If you've got it, note it in your character sheet. Anyone got any thoughts for rivals? And I'm going to adjust the XP questions to kind of reflect this. So that way there's a little more reward for playing into buddies and rivals. Anyone yeah. got any thoughts for a rival? I mean, and, like I said, it's it's goddamn Mafuni that convinced the rest of the party to take us to the goddamn swamp. <laughs> okay, so we got Mafuni. I, I'm I thinking for Booty because he seems uh, entirely too competent, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that that to me. is a wonderful reason. <laughs> what, um, in my notes, I just put Mafune equals buddy, who also loves gold. Mafune <laughs> equals rival, who also loves gold. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what species is everybody? I don't think anyone human. else. Uh, Not half like. I've got it on the overlay. Okay. So Mifune's human, Conifer's human, Finlar is elf, McGavin is halfling, and for Bowdy is dwarf. Okay. All right. I was gonna take the shortest person, but Farbody has already. He's 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 earned his earned my trust. Okay. I don't know. I'll have to think about it some more. I have to really examine them to see which one of them really looks like two halflings hidden in, in their coat. clothing. Yeah. Who's clothed the most? That'll be it. That's, that's a that's question. Which one that's of you is probably wearing? me. Okay. Finlar might be a halfling and or two halflings in, in a trench coat. All right. I don't <sighs> know if the stream can see or hear us anymore. Mine is just spinning. Uh, I see it. It's just the latency thing. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh do our closing plugs then bert what do you got going on this week uh this friday i've got some bx dungeons and dragons going on um this saturday nothing special uh, actually nothing at all and then sunday uh, i hope that we can play a game of the quiet year as a setup for our weird frontiers game for whoever wants to in uh, be a part of that uh jeff i know uh, you're that's a shadow run sunday if you want to jump in because we don't have yeah. all the players that would normally be there and it's a fun game yeah no i nice. i caught a little bit of what you did this this past week it looked pretty fun mm -hmm. and i've heard about it before as like world building setup so I'll, yeah. i'm down yeah it is cool. an awesome thing to do before yeah. any campaign so nice plan to do that very cool. cool uh jeff what do you got uh, we've got Friday, uh, over on twitch.tv slash the lollygaggers, the penultimate episode of our Delta green impossible landscapes campaign. As we are that close, we are two episodes away from the end. Uh, let's see Saturday. We've got one ring second edition, uh, which has uh, been a ton of fun. And, uh, Monday we're back to, I possibly back to ultraviolet grasslands. We'll, we'll double check to make sure everyone's allowed to play, oh, uh, cause Day. It's that bullshit oh, holiday yeah. of Valentine's Day. So we'll see. We'll see. 
I'm good. Ashley's given me that. permission, and I've already given her Valentine's Day gift, so I'm good to go. <laughs> nice. Bribery accomplished. Bribery there accomplished. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Are you and Jeremy playing over on Garbalag Games oh, yeah. tomorrow? Jeremy should to talk about that one. Jeremy, talk about that. It's going to be great. Tomorrow night, Garbalag Games, 9 p.m. Central. Watch this crazy little cultist, Pavel, and a super soldier just punch Nazis in the face and go crazy. It's great. Octung it's Cthulhu. very okay. Very okay. We do very many things. We get rocket ship and blimp, and then my sister got kicked by mule, but I found husband for her, so it's going to be happy ending. It's There's funny. even a marmot. There is, there is a marmot. Gregor, very powerful creature. Possibly, you know, more powerful than me, but we, we speak about it every morning. It's very okay. Wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. Tomorrow night, Garbly Games. Uh, for Defenders, uh, Friday, 10 p.m. here on this channel, we're going to be playing some more Shadowrun. Uh, Saturday, we don't have anything going on, but Jeremy and I will be over on Grim and Perilous Plays. I don't know what time we're starting, uh, but we're going to be streaming some Kingdom Death Monster. So, Saturday night. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm so sorry. I did. Jeff, wait, put your ears back in, Jeff. I did learn something today. Jeff's gone. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, that's all we got for the week. Wait for Jeff to put his ears in. There he is. Uh, I was going to say, Jeff, uh, I did find out that in June, uh, I'll be in Las Vegas. So if you make the five hour drive, we can hang out. Vegas, I'll bring my kingdom death monster with me too. That's there we a, go. that's like a whole separate car that you need that like a U-Haul for that. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. I know who my rival is now. It's uh it's Chuck. Uh <laughs> so I'm <just> gonna <laughs> that's fair. I that's fair. I won't I'm not mad about that. All right. That's all we got. Thanks everyone for watching and hanging out. Uh sorry that the stream's being funky here at the end. So people watching the stream probably aren't seeing this, but they can find it on YouTube. Uh yeah, I don't fucking know. We'll be back with this next Wednesday. So until we see you again, start fires, do drugs, and, uh, I don't know, buy your significant other something for Valentine's Day so you can play in UVG on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, peace with that. All right, later, everyone. <laughs>